Mount. But Temple Mount, actually, I will first hear uh, any clue about it. If you remember where? In the Bible it mentioned some, some mentioning about the Temple Mount. In, uh, in the She's going to help me figure out. Oh, excuse me. this here. I'm just washing this off. And you just sift through the artifact, or the rock, before artifacts. Oh, look at this. Three fragments here, trying to go through all of the uh, little uh, rocks and separate out. Stuff that's of relevance and stuff that's just natural rock. Finding little bits of pottery. Did you find a bone? What is that? It's a bone. It looks like... It looks like it could be like part of a vertebrae. Oh, it's just a minute. I want to get that uh, lady over here. So, first of all, I see it's very, very dusty since we sat here for a long time. So, mm -hmm. we should get some kind of... Um, here I'm at the uh, table where we're sorting pottery. And uh, I'm going to put it into various, this is stuff that's already been sifted out by various volunteers and now the uh, archaeologists go through and sort it into different piles by style and age and so forth. And I'm going to assist in that process. Now, indicatives is anything that's not a rim. This is a rim. This is a nice indicative. Yeah, that's a rim. I can see on that, yeah. Anything like what you, what you just saw. With that marking on it, with yeah, that, which is not a rim, but it's something special. Now, uh, it's special because there's probably a certain kind of style that, although it's not a rim, the archaeologist can recognize right. yeah. what family of um, of dishes it is. So sure. we'll just make another pile. Of so we got to have indicatives and uh, rims. Yeah. Okay. Um, other than that, sometimes we have like. Um, can we dip it in the water to? Uh, you don't have to, just if, if there's, if there's a, a piece that you can't decide if it's a rim or not, so you can dip it in the water and then you'll see it much more, uh, much more clearly. And then, uh, Here's a... indicative? No, no, it's not. Oh, just, I should just, just junk on it, huh? Yeah. Indicative can also be if you find um, a base. Ah. Uh -huh. dish. That's a very it, clear and, base. And that's, we can a, also keep that. and that's a rim because it's just kind of. Uh, this is a rim because you see that on one side it's not broken. Okay, you see this is yeah. the top of the dish. Oh, okay. So anything that's the top. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is what we call the rim. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and sometimes we also find here things that belong to other categories, like bones or mosaics. Yeah. So we just put them in a different pile, and then we. Distribute them between all the relevant. Okay. Uh, and what if it's not a rim? Just over here. Yeah, if it's not a rim, we just Put that, it over that, that's what we count at the end and uh, and throw away. Okay. Kali, uh, You're talking. That's a rim, as you can see. It's the top of a jar. You can kind of see the rim up here at the top. This is a indicative. This is an it's called an indicative. It's got um, markings on it. See there, it's kind of special. 